Welcome to Electron Line. Well, the real heating in the atmosphere happens right here near the surface of the Earth. It turns out that 48% of all the energy from the Sun finally reaches the Earth's surface. And so, therefore, that is what heats the lower atmosphere and the lower troposphere. It does so in several ways. First of all, some of the radiation that gets back into the, or some of the energy from the sun that gets back into the troposphere does so by the air making contact with the surface. And this is not just the greenhouse gas molecules in the atmosphere, this is all the molecules. So mostly nitrogen, oxygen, which make up about 99% of the atmosphere, they make contact with the heated ground from the sun because the ground absorbs the energy from the sun, it gets hot, the air molecules hit the surface, they get warm from that contact and they begin to rise. So we have these air currents that rise up into the uh, higher ends of the troposphere, carrying all that extra heat from the surface into the troposphere through molecular contact and through molecular uh, the collisions. And so we can see that of the 48% that reach the surface, 5%, that's, that's about 10% of the total reaching the Earth, gets back into the troposphere, heats up the troposphere through convection currents, through the warm air, make, through the air making contact with the surface, then expanding, heating, and then slowly rising back, redistributing that heat to the remainder of the troposphere. Most of it, 25%, which is over half of the 48%, actually makes it back into the troposphere through evaporation. We can't forget that almost 75% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and that water evaporates when the sunlight reaches it, it heats up the water, it begins to evaporate the water, and that evaporated water, which then contains a lot of heat because of the what we call the latent heat of vaporization, that, that uh, the water vapor then rises into the troposphere and then when it recondenses into clouds and small droplets, it then redistributes that heat that was taken up on contact from the sunlight with the, with the sunlight reaching the water. That heat then gets transported back into the troposphere, redistributing the heat in the troposphere. Of the 48%, about a quarter actually escapes back into space through the what we call the the radiation window, the portion of the atmosphere that does not absorb much of the radiation come back from the Earth, which leaves us with about 5 to 6 percent of the 48 percent that reaches the surface that gets reabsorbed by the atmosphere, primarily by the, uh, by the greenhouse gases, water vapor and carbon dioxide being the main two greenhouse gases. And what's interesting is this 5 to 6 percent Three quarters of that is absorbed in the first 100 meters of atmosphere. If we take the first 200 meters of atmosphere, that's almost 99%. By the time we get 300 meters up in the atmosphere, almost all of that radiation has been absorbed in the lower end of the troposphere, which causes the air near the surface of the Earth to heat up to about 15 degrees centigrade rather than minus 18 degrees centigrade that it would be if there were no greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So this is primarily the reason why the lower troposphere, the region of air that's close to the surface of the Earth, reaches that nice comfortable temperature of an average of about 15 degrees centigrade rather than the minus 18 degrees centigrade it would be without the greenhouse gases. And then these greenhouse gases, and slowly, well actually very quickly because the radiation continues to get sent and absorbed and sent and absorbed, and then slowly makes its way through the lower uh, lower atmosphere, the troposphere part, by the time it reaches about five to six kilometers in height, that's about halfway through the troposphere, then there's so little greenhouse gases left in this part of the troposphere that a lot of that radiation begins to make its way back into space, but it's that first initial trip of the first five to six kilometers of the troposphere that keeps the lower troposphere nice and comfortably warm, and so that is really what we call the greenhouse effect that keeps that heat in that part of the atmosphere. And this is why we have this temperature gradient. This is caused by the slow migration of the heat from the surface of the Earth back in the troposphere through evaporation, through the, the heating of the air, the expanding of the air with contact with the surface, and through the greenhouse gas absorption. That's really the main way in which the Earth stays nice and comfortably warm, much warmer than it would be if those greenhouse gases weren't there. And that's how it works.